So this video is sponsored by Storyblocks. So have you ever heard of that saying that every rose has its thorn? Well, in my case, when it comes to filmmaking, that thorn has always been audio. Figuring out how to capture high quality audio, no matter what situation I'm in, the job, depending on the microphone and the situations, has always been a never ending hurdle. But recently, we've been shooting a ton of projects for a particular client and it has forced me to really learn how to adapt my audio solution based on the jobs and the situations that were put in. So what I wanted to do in this video is answer the question that you guys have been asking quite a bit in some of my past videos, and that is how I go about capturing high quality audio, no matter the situation. Now, when it comes to capturing high quality audio, the first big difference that we made was we stopped recording our audio directly in camera. Now, a long time ago, I was using a Zoom H6, which is a fantastic recorder, but I kind of started getting lazy and I stopped using it and I just started allowing my lavalier mics or my XLR mics to go directly in camera. And what I didn't realize is that by going directly in camera, I wasn't getting the best audio preamps I could possibly get. This was introducing a lot of white noise and staticky sounds and things like that that really is just unappealing when it comes to listening back to the audio. So by going that extra step and introducing the Zoom H6, which is the recorder of my choice, it really allowed me to get a lot of benefits. One of the first major benefits by using a Zoom H6 is the fact that this thing has four input channels. And what you can do with these channels is really quite fascinating. Not only are you able to have four different audio input sources going in here, but this thing will actually record them individually. One of the major benefits with this is if you are doing some type of a situation where you're interviewing or you're capturing multiple people, instead of having their audio consistently crossing, and if one person interrupts the other, you can't cut that person out or you can't have any changes in post. This thing records each audio source individually, which means you have complete control in post. So if you want to mute a certain person at a certain point, you can totally do that. If somebody happens to cough in the middle of filming, well, you can mute that person's mic even if the other person is still talking and the chances of you picking up that other piece of audio is significantly less. But one of the major things that I love about going into a recorder is you just have the redundancy. You have the audio on multiple channels and if something happens while filming, you just have more room in post to fix what you need. Now using a recorder was not the only only thing that changed our audio game. Another one was actually upgrading our lavalier set to the brand new Rode Wireless Go 2s. Now, the set that we got actually came with two of these and it had one transmitter. And ideally, I know when Rode made this, the whole purpose was the fact that you could run basically two lavaliers into one transmitter and then go from that transmitter into your camera directly. However, as I already mentioned, we really prefer going into a recorder, which meant that we actually started running into some slight issues. So for example, these Rode Wireless Go's, the way that they work is they record each lavalier separately to two different channels, your left and your right channel. And when this goes into camera, it pretty much just gives you the ability in post to actually separate those channels. And that way you can have sort of a individual stereo sound. Well, when you try to run these directly into something like the Zoom H6, what you find is that when you start going in through XLR, all it was doing was taking those two channels and then merging them together into one channel on the Zoom H6, which is not what we wanted. As I mentioned earlier, we wanted to have them recording into two different channels. So the way we actually had to go about doing this was by introducing another cable. This is a splitter. And so basically, long story short, the way all this works is we go from the wireless goes into the receiver and then out of the receiver, we go through the 3.5 millimeter jack into two XLR cables, a left and right. And that will allow us to go into two different XLR inputs on our recorder, giving us the ability to have those separate channels for recording. Now I know what you might be thinking, Brandon, that sounds like a lot. What is the purpose of doing all this? Well, 
These guys are super powerful. You don't just have to use these things with lavalier microphones. For example, they do have a microphone built into them. In fact, right now I'm actually using one and I am in fact using it with an XLR microphone. But you can also use these things with one of our new pickups and that is with a Rode NTG shotgun microphone. See, what's nice about this guy is you can plug any microphone that is 3.5 millimeter jack into this guy and it'll make that microphone wireless. Now, the NTG by Rode has quickly become one of our favorite boom microphones. And what's awesome about this microphone is that it's not just a great boom microphone, but it can work in so many different areas. This microphone can also be used as a computer microphone as it does have USB-C plugs on this guy, which can be used to actually repower the built-in battery, but you can also plug it directly into your computer and just use it as a computer mic. You can also plug this thing directly into your phone and it uses a smart cable to be able to know how to operate with a phone. In this case, it can be used as a great vlogging mic when using an iPhone or any other mobile phone. This microphone also has a lot of awesome features when it comes to getting crisp audio. For one, it has a fantastic 75 hertz low pass filter, which means that it's gonna be able to cut out a lot of the noise that comes from some of your radiators or your air conditions or some of your air receivers. What's really nice is that this microphone does a lot of the work that you would have to do in post but it does it directly inside the microphone. Personally, one of my favorite setups is really doing a redundancy style setup. We've been using the lavalier mics directly on talent to get some nice crisp close to the talent audio. But then we will also use this microphone, the NTG, as sort of a backup or a nice secondary microphone when filming. And what we have found is that when we pair this microphone with the wireless go system, which now gives us a wireless boom setup and having a wireless lavalier mic on our talent, it really does allow us to get the best audio possible. By having the redundancy and by having the low pass filter with the NTG and having all of our audio going into a recorder like in our case, the Zoom H6, it really does unlock our ability to get the best audio possible. Now really quick, I wanna take a moment and thank today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an online platform that gives you access to millions of royalty-free and stock assets. What's nice about Storyblocks is you only pay a monthly fee and you have unlimited downloads to their entire portfolio of work. On there, you're gonna find stock video, you're gonna find After Effects assets, you'll also find music, and one thing that I really love that Storyblocks has been doing recently is that they have been adding new elements to their overall portfolio. So now what's nice is that they are making sure that there is representation in their stock video. Now they're going out of their way to make sure that that communities that haven't been represented in stock video is showing up on their platform and they're working with creators to continuously add new content to their site every single month. If you're a filmmaker and you need content for yourself or even for client work, I strongly recommend you guys check out Storyblocks because they're really not gonna let you down. And when you're in a pinch and you just need that single shot, it's nice to have a platform that you can run to and get it. So thank you so much Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. But now let's hop back into the audio content. You know, through doing all these jobs, one thing that I've learned is that every situation is different. And just how whenever you show up to a situation, you have to figure out where to put the camera, where to put your lights, and how to build your scene, audio is no different. And figuring out what type of tools and techniques you need in order to actually capture the best audio possible, in my opinion, is something that you should be putting at the top of your priority list. Personally, capturing high quality audio still continues to be one of those ever going challenges for us. But as a team, we have become very consistent about making sure that we are capturing the best audio possible. Now, sure, there are some other tips that you could do like sound treating the room or introducing sound blankets, which I've actually done a video on kind of comparing the differences between using sound panels and sound blankets in the past. So I'll find that video and link that up in the card above. But I will also say that it's important that you understand your tools when it comes to creating the best system possible for capturing high quality audio. 
All right, so I know this is a lot when it comes to audio, but I would love to know what questions you guys still have when it comes to audio. Personally, audio for me has always been a struggle, but I've really enjoyed these last couple months of really dialing in our system. And I think we've really dialed it into a point that works well for us. Please do me a huge favor. Let me know what questions you guys have about it so that way I can cover it in future videos. And if there's any particular product that we talked about in today's video that you would love us to talk more about in a future video, leave me those questions down below in the comments as well. But thanks so much for checking out this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.